We're here at the uh, Salford Research location, um, checking out various uh, tillage uh, practices and comparing them. This particular uh, spot right here uh, is had a spring disc uh, followed by a planter. And what we're checking for is soil density layers left by uh, the disc or potential soil density layers. The way to do that is with a soil probe. So what you do is you take the soil probe, apply uh, pressure to it gently and evenly, and see where a hard spot begins. And this right away, right there. So down about that far, which would be the, the depth that the disc worked at. We'll just do that again. There it is again. And then we'll press through if we can. There we go, we break through. And it is very dense below that. So it's created uh, quite a density layer down there. And then of course to verify that, what you do is you dig up some roots. So here are uh, two roots that we've dug up. This one here complete with the, uh, the root ball attached. You notice the flat layer in the bottom, which is uh, about where the, uh, the density layer occurs. And you can tell it's the same distance. All the roots here, it's got a good root mass, but it does definitely stop at the density layer. And then when you shake the dirt off it, you'll see this. You'll see how the roots are heading sideways. Instead of being down, they're tending to want to be horizontal to fill the, the soil that's available to them. Now what we'll do is we'll go compare that to uh, another tillage practice in another part of the field. We're now a hundred rows over from where we were previously on a different uh, tillage plot. This one is the 9700 followed by an RTS in the spring. A completely different um, appearance and as well a density and we'll check that with the, uh, the probe. So we'll do what we did before, gentle even pressure. And there we have a slightly denser spot right there, but at a significantly lower spot. We are now down, oh, roughly nine inches from where we were before to uh, probably a, a natural density layer. So the density of the soil is completely different than the previous trial. And that should show up on the roots. So what we've done is we've dug up uh, of corn plant from this particular treatment and as you can tell the roots are completely different they're uh, almost straight up and down they're going right through the mass is really good and uh, we'll just shake some of the dirt off here so you can take a better look at it just walk around and shake the dirt off so as you can tell there's big roots We'll chop them out a little bit so you can get a better look. And then peel them apart. As you can tell, the roots are uh, bigger, healthier, stronger. And as compared to the uh, root from the uh, previous uh, plant, see how these ones are going up and down. And these ones here are much more horizontal. You can see where the density layer was right here where the roots have turned onto their edge. There's a few of them in here. Some of them are going up and down like that one. That one is definitely turned. That one is turned. This is the original corn seed in there. But look at these roots. They, uh, there's no turning on them at all. They're straight up and down. The, the difference would mean to you as a producer is that this plant would be able to uh, withstand drought or uh, low moisture situations significantly better because it has a bigger volume of dirt to draw from and also has stronger, healthier roots to able to pull more of the water from various locations. Uh, the uh, yield ability of this plant in both good and poor conditions is significantly better than the other roots. So you would want to be able to modify your uh, tillage uh, practices to be able to give you this and give you the biggest, best economical yield.